हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम सो इन दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम आई विल बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट ए वीडियो टाइमलाइन एडिटर एंड वीडियो रिकॉर्डर दैट आई डेवलप्ड इनसाइड नेक्स्ट जेएस एंड इफ आई रीलोड द पेज हियर यू विल बेसिकली सी दिस इज द एक्चुअल एप्लीकेशन दैट आई डेवलप्ड इन द ब्राउजर एंड इट्स अ कंप्लीट क्लाइंट साइड एप्लीकेशन नो सर्वर साइड कोड इज इन्वॉल्व इन इट इट्स इट इज बिल्ट इन साइड नेक्स्ट जेएस एज यू बेसिकली ओपन दिस एप्लीकेशन दिस लैंडिंग पेज विल ओपन एंड देर आर टू ऑप्शन राइट हेयर either you can basically edit a video by selecting a video local video or basically you can record your screen record the video right inside the browser and edit it first of all let me show you the first option which allows you to select any video that you have so what i will do is that if i have any video that i want to edit i can basically go into my video select the video you can basically select any video mp4 avi so, so if i turn on the volume you will basically see as i play the video it will play uh hello friend when it you can navigate to any section in the video you will see that this is a line by line video csv file there. and we, so we can play we'll pause actually, everything that we can do right here and now if you want to basically trim the portion you can have this timeline editor that you have you can basically trim any portion and uh, you will basically see this is a starting duration this is ending duration let's suppose i want to trim this section from this video i want to trim this portion so i will simply we have various uh, quality that you can control if you are sending it uh, with the uh, as a email this video 8 megabytes the size will be for whatsapp it will be 16 megabyte discord 25 megabytes you can even change the quality standard quality high def definition quality and best quality you can even create create a animated gif as well let me select best quality and the audio quality as well you can control the audio quality low quality or e you can even remove the audio from it also all these options are available and then click on start and now guys you will basically use the ffmpg library it will execute the ffmpg command right here in the browser and it will also show this progress bar and actually it is using ffmpg web assembly library in next js to actually convert the video actually trim that portion and once it is completed it will reach 100% and you you will be able to download the output file so it's a complete web application which is developed inside next js and also it is using react js as well jsx in typescript we have used it so if you need this full source code guys full application the link is given in the description of this live stream you can directly purchase the full source code from my website and after you purchase it you will actually get a zip file you just need to extract the content of the zip file and you will actually get the full project and you can simply run it inside the browser that i am running it you will see local host i'm running it in on localhost 3000 you can even deploy this application right here after you purchase a domain name to any hosting so once it reaches 100% so it totally depends upon the length of the video so if you have a large length then it will take some time but it is just showing you this nice little progress bar which makes it, which makes it easy for the users to just see how much time is remaining for the processing of the video so it is you can see it is actually also showing you the command that it uses this ffmpg command you can simply copy this command as well if you want to do it locally just open command line right here i have i have ffmpg installed on my system you can even do it locally as well it shows you the command as well but for this application you don't have to have ffmpg installed locally inside your system it is working in the browser for this specific project we are using ffmpg web assembly which is a simple library which allows you to use ffmpg right in the browser not uh, it is not restricted that you should have ffmpg installed inside your command line it makes it easy to use it inside the browser so this is the actual github repository of this library that we are using it inside the project to actually make this awesome little application which is a video timeline editor and video recorder as well which allows you to edit your videos right in the time 
a browser no need of external video editing software you can perform your video editing right inside the browser so once it reaches 100% guys it will show you the download option where you can simply download your file so if you are basically watching it for the very first time guys please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and uh, i basically make these videos so you will not get the notification as well if you put uh, hit that notification bell icon so now you can see 98% 99 and once it reaches 100% it will now show a download button of the video guys alongside the directory that. structure so it will show you the live preview of the video the video has been trimmed and you can see the length of the video is 55 second and you can play this video in the video player it is showing you the live preview and there is three options right here you can simply download the video as in video it will now play it code the video player. so you just need you can see the video is successfully trimmed we have selected the starting and ending location and it is used FFmpg to make this process very easy and uh, now you can even select a different file download the video or try different parameters if you want to try out different parameters let's suppose you want to convert this uh, into a GIF animation so what I will say animated GIF I will select and click on start so what it will do guys it will convert this into a GIF animation you will see now it has converted it to a GIF animation so GIF is the file so if you want to now open this you will see it will run endlessly so as you know GIF animations so we have basically created a GIF animation from a video file and let's suppose you want to control the you can select any look uh, resolution here SD resolution or it, it is also showing you the 640 by 360 you can control it so 25 megabytes 8 megabytes if you want to start if you want to send this video by email so all the options are supported by it's a fully timeline editor I will also show you the code as well you will see now the it is the size of the video it has been compressed you will see only 263 kilobytes is the actual size of the video if I try to open it you will send this video in if you are sending an email message then you can basically send this video the size is very small so in this way guys you can try out dif different options from this drop down if you are sending it through a whatsapp discord and the nice thing about that guys you can even change the aspect ratio let's suppose you are uploading it to youtube the aspect ratio is 16 by 9 let's suppose you are uh, uploading it to instagram the aspect ratio there was 9, 9 by 16 the reverse process you can even create vertical videos you can edit this now click uh, just start it will now process it will convert your video horizontal video to vertical video so that you can simply upload these the platform to snapchat instagram any those platforms support vertical video not horizontal video so this is your vertical video which is ready you can convert your horizontal video to vertical video from this software as well the link is given in the description guys you can directly purchase the source code you will actually get a zip file let me now show you the source code to you Basically guys, this will be the source code. Uh, we have built this project using FFmpg WebAssembly library. And uh, you will basically see these are the set of libraries which are there. FFmpg core.js, FFmpg core WebAssembly, FFmpg core worker.js. So let me also show you this, of, this software also allows you to record your video right in the browser itself. So there is a second option right here which allows you to record your video right here in the browser. So if I click this button, a pop-up window will appear and here it is asking which screen you want to record. So let's suppose you can also record a particular window or you can record a particular screen. Let's suppose if you want to record entire screen, you will simply uh, select entire screen and it is also uh, have the option to record system audio I will toggle on this option click on share and now you your screen is recording so whatever I am speaking through microphone is also being recorded I can go to any screen and you can see that it has been recorded so in this way guys all your screen is being recorded 
so as i simply click on this option which is uh, stop sharing or use recording so as i click this option your video has been created so you will basically see now you will be able to edit this file so if you want to trim any portion here you can basically trim the portion or you can basically you can see that click on start you can trim the portion or you can convert this to animated gif all these options are supported you can record record your own video like this it's a very simple process it has a option to actually record the screen and it will actually record the screen if you want to have system audio let's suppose a song is playing or if you want to record that audio as well it will not record the microphone volume that's a feature i'm not added till yet but uh, if you purchase the source code you will get notifications after new features that, that i will add that feature i will add in the future to actually record the microphone volume as well but at this moment of time i don't have that support for that but if you have some system audio then you can simply record that the software will actually record that so you can navigate to any screen right here and this will actually record everything and now to use this recording click simply click use recorder it will simply stop the recording and now you can uh, just change the aspect ratio 4 by 3 3 by 4 9 by 16 all that stuff and click on uh, best quality if you want to upload this to youtube click on start so this will actually convert this video to mp4 file so that you can upload this video to youtube so it's a simple video recorder as well and video timeline editor both these options are being uh, contained in a single software that you will get guys if you purchase it the link is given in the description you can purchase it from my e-commerce website and you will actually get the source code in a zip file after you purchase it from google drive and once it reaches 100 percent it will have the option to actually save the video as a mp4 file so now you can see the video has been successfully processed using ffmpg and now you have three buttons to actually save the video inside your machine as a mp4 file so this supports every extension i'm just showing mp4 it supports avi all the mov all the video extensions types most famous is mp4 that's why i'm showing you but it supports all extensions so you can try out on your own machine and uh, so it works in Next.js. If I show you the dependencies, guys, basically, if I go to the package.json file, you will also see that we are using FFmpg core library. We are uh, using the Next.js. So Next.js 13 we are using. And it is compatible with the latest version. If you have a latest version, it will work. The software will work with the latest version as well. React, it is using React 18. It is using React 18. It's a very awesome software guys that I developed. If you are interested, the link is given in the description where it's a video timeline editor. It has two options for editing your videos using a timeline editor or you can record your video. So I've shown you all the uh, demo of both these tools. Uh, hello friends, today in this, you can see that this is actual timeline which makes it very much easy to actually trim or cut the videos right in the browser here you can basically control the quality you can change the aspect ratio as well you can basically control this everything so it's a very good software in my scenario you can also use a mouse as well guys if you want to crop your video you basically it will crop your video whatever portion you want to see you can actually crop it using the mouse you can see that you can also control it like this also guys so whatever portion that you want inside the video you can even control this using the mouse as well if you don't like the aspect ratio 9 by 16 you can even control this like this also you can have a free hand like this inside the video using the mouse you can basically control like this using the mouse so whatever portion that you want to crop in the video, 
it's a video cropper as well you can with the help of the mouse you can basically control which portion you want to crop in the video you can simply select that portion let's suppose i want this portion to be cropped so what i will do simply click on start so i will basically crop this portion and start so basically what will happen it will split the video it will also crop the video and it will also change the aspect ratio at the same time so it's a it is doing multiple things at a single time and uh, now you will basically see country code so this is for it has successfully cropped the video the location that we selected only it is only like uh, having that location and now the video is successfully cropped the plus one and you will not see a better video editor guys on whole youtube than this one so don't waste your time and purchase the source code you will basically get a lot of knowledge how i developed this editor from scratch in next chairs and react chairs you can also have the full commercial rights after you purchase this software and you can use it inside your own website upload this and also earn money as well because many users will come to your website to actually edit videos it's it saves a lot of time because they don't want to download third party softwares or use desktop softwares so it makes basically makes the things far more easier so for performing these kinds of enhancements or video editing skills so many a times uh, videos are the norm in the in this era many users are uploading videos so that's why video editors uh, are the you can see all these options are available to you you can control the cropping section you can trim the video so this is the software guys if you are interested the link is given in the description and uh, i will be seeing you guys in the next video until then thank you very much